If you want stronger, healthier knees, then you need these five exercises in your life to keep you pain-free for years to come. Hey guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. We are targeting the quads, hamstrings, glutes, and calf muscles to support our knees today. You don't need any equipment except something sturdy for balance in case you need that. For exercise one, find something sturdy to lean against, like a wall, a door, or a nice big strong person. You're gonna get your back flat against that surface. Bring those feet about hip width apart, scooch them on out, and you're gonna have a seat. That's it. Trust me, this is hard enough. This is gonna work those quads and those hip flexors, and you've got a couple options here too. If this is uncomfortable for you, which is not gonna feel great because it's gonna be hard, but you can come up a little bit. That puts less pressure through the knees. And if you need it harder, you just scoot yourself on down to make it even harder, which I have to hold on to do this. You can do one leg. Whoa, clearly I am not ready for that yet. Now you can change it up a little even more by doing some wall slides where you're going up and down. My wall is not slidey enough to do that. So I'm just gonna have a seat back down again. You just wanna hold this until you feel like your legs are nice and shaky. That might be 20 seconds, it might be a minute. Make sure you breathe and good luck. After I've done my wall sits, I like to move on to calf raises. And the calf muscles, of course, come up right around the knee, which is why we're doing these. So you can start off just standing nice and straight, no weights or anything in your hands, and coming right up onto the balls of your feet. Now you wanna to try to come up as high as you can, and then it's a nice and slow and controlled lower back down. Woo, that wasn't controlled. So again, if you need to hang on to something, hang on to something. If that is easy for you, like I said, you can hang on to weights. The other option would be to do one leg at a time, right? Coming up, and again, trying to stay nice and controlled. Now we're working on some balance too, which is woohoo! Not my strong suit, apparently, but also really important for that knee too. So shoot for about 10 to 15 repetitions. Exercise number three is a single leg deadlift. So it's going to work actually the whole back of the leg. Something sturdy if needed, standing on just this one leg, you wanna think about pushing back from that hip. So it's this leg on the ground that's doing all the work, not the one that's raising in back of you. And you might even feel a nice little stretch at the same time. So if you can do it with no hands, my jazz hands, or look ma, no hands, you can. Little tiny bend in that knee, but not locked and not, right, a squat. Same idea in 10 to 15 reps. If that is too much, and even holding on doesn't work for you, you can put that back leg down and then just work on shifting those hips and coming all the way back up again to make it a little bit harder still. Woohoo, <laughs> I've been on vacation, can you tell? Uh, you can add a weight or even two weights into your hand, and then you get a little bit more resistance that way. You're gonna come down onto your back for the fourth exercise, which is why I kinda of like to do this one after the other ones. You can do this on the bed if it's more comfortable for you, but feet about hip width apart again. Little tiny tuck into that pelvis, hands down by your side, squeeze those butt cheeks together, and you're gonna lift it on up. Now this is step one, and you may find that this is challenging enough for you to work those hamstrings and those glute muscles. If you want it to be a little bit more oomph in there, you can go ahead and add a walk out to get those hamstrings even more. So you wanna make sure you keep your hips level and then it's step, step. You can step out as much as you can. I don't want my hamstrings to cramp, so this is about where I'm gonna go. And then I'm gonna step it, step it back in. So probably only about 10 of these because they're a little bit more challenging. If you stick with just the regular bridge where you're coming up and down, close to around 20, but again, work to where you feel like you feel just a little bit tired. Our last exercise, again, on the ground or on the bed, on our side this time, is really working those side bunsies. So, nice straight legs to start, and when I look down, I wanna make sure I'm all the way rolled onto my hip, and that I can see my toesies, but not a whole lot of my legs, okay? So from here, you're gonna bend just your knees. Don't let your hips slide forward, which is what I see a lot of. You're gonna keep those feet together, and that top knee lifts up. As you're lifting that top knee up, make sure you're not pressing for dear life into the floor and that you're only lifting as high as you can with that top leg without rolling backwards, like you have a yummy cupcake and all of those locations that you don't want to smush. To make this one a little bit harder, if it's too easy for you, you have a couple options. You could add a band on and continue to do this with that band above the knees, or you could even keep those knees down, now lift both feet up, and do that same motion, and this is definitely a little harder. One last option. 
to make it even harder is if you think about sliding this top leg down, so now my top foot is a little bit in front of the bottom foot, whoa, <laughs> and then lift, we're in a whole nother world right here. So you wanna make sure again, till fatigue about 15 to 20 or so, and you wanna make sure to do both sides. And if you want more knee video strengthening, more knee video, more knee strengthening, I'm gonna link a video for you guys.